again with another episode of Roofer Reflections, and I'm so happy to have、uh, Christina on the、uh, on the interview. I'm looking at your, you know, your your college or your schooling, and it says a BA in Adolescence Education. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I went to school to teach history.、Uh, I was looking forward to being a high school history teacher when I got out of college. I graduated right around the time of the recession,、uh, around 2008. And there just weren't any teaching jobs around. I ended up with Feral Roofing in 2012.、Uh, they they took me in, and I found something that I loved even more. So <laughs> I couldn't imagine being anywhere else now. Was that something you applied? Did someone approach you? Like, how did that happen? So my cousin was working there at the time, and she said, "You know, we have some positions open, and I know things really haven't been going well with the teaching thing. You know, there just aren't any any jobs anywhere." So would you would you care to apply? And I said, the roofing industry. Why not? I guess, but it was never something I had even considered. What did you、uh, learn as you sort of、um, uh, started to work there? When you think roofing, when you're outside of the roofing industry, you just think, okay, there are people up on a roof. They put a roof down. They they leave a job, and that's it. I never considered that there would be so many things going on in the background: project management, estimating, safety. If you're interested in something, there's always something available for you in the roofing industry, and I never considered that as even a, an option. And what are, what are some of the keys to this you've learned over the years? I've learned that there's so much experience out there. This understanding that I've done it for 30 years, and so this is how I've done it all of this time, and. And you just kind of have to work with them and give them the why behind what you're asking them to do. If you don't give them the why,、uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't stick. If I'm asking them to do something that's outside of their comfort zone or outside of what they're used to, I always want to make sure that I give them the why behind it, why I'm asking them to do it, and why it's good for them to, you know, to to do something different in order to be safer on the roof. And I noticed that you're going for your master's in safety. Tell me about that. I, I just decided one day that、uh, I think it was time that I wanted to put some oomph behind what I'd already been doing. I decided to sign up for an occupational safety and health、uh, course through、uh, Columbia Southern University. It's all online. It's great to not only reinforce the knowledge I already have, but to give me more. You know, I, I always want to know more. So. I really look forward to continuing in the program. I'm sure people come to you, you know, with you know that are outside the industry, you know, possibly looking at roofing as an opportunity. What do you tell those people about your experience and the opportunities within the roofing industry? There's so much, and no matter what you're interested in, no matter what you're looking for, there's always something in the industry. You know, being a part of the Roofing Alliance and being a part of National Women in Roofing. I think one of the biggest things about the industry is I love its heart. It's fantastic. There's so many opportunities, and it's a challenge. There's never, at least in the safety department or the safety world, it's never the same day twice. The whole thing is just more than I could have ever asked for.